Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Abundance, and today I am so excited to share with you The Focus Wheel by Abraham Hicks. So first and foremost, I wanna let you know that I am not affiliated with Abraham Hicks in any way. And for those of you who don't know who Abraham Hicks is, please definitely take the time to look it up if you're interested. Otherwise, I'm just gonna share a really great, exciting tool that has been helping me uh, on so many levels. Uh, thinking about shifting my ideas or my beliefs from old patterns and beliefs to the possibility of something new. And so the way I'm going to share the focus wheel is I'm going to show you the pieces. And if you want to go ahead and, and do this with me, take the time to pause this video and grab some paper and a pencil. You don't have to have any drawing skills whatsoever. I'm gonna make this as simple as possible, but I'm also gonna let you know that there's a few places where you can find a template for the focus wheel. Uh, one of them is the law of attraction.com, the law of attraction.com. Another one is on Pinterest and another website is the vortex.me. And so those are places where you can get the template. You can print it out if you want to. They use usually a 12, uh, spokes wheel and I'm just going to do an eight eight spoke wheel uh, because I want to keep it as simple as possible. So I do these on just no note, regular notebook paper because I know that eventually I'm just going to throw it away. Um, the whole point is getting from point A, which is I'm really struggling with this idea or this belief to point Z, which is I'm feeling really comfortable about a new idea around this belief or this concept. And I'm ready to accept my, my new perspective. So I know there's plenty of YouTube videos out there for using the focus wheel for money and for weight loss. So today I'm going to focus on my eyesight. So I've been using the focus wheel for my eyesight and it is getting better. I know there's a few other things that I'm doing as well uh, to help my eyesight uh, as it, as it continues to, um, just get more and more clear. Um, but the focus wheel seems to be one of the big ones that's helping take it to the next level. So my goal is to focus on 2020 vision without glasses. So if you wanna take a moment now and pause for just a moment and think about something that you're struggling with and it could be weight loss or it could be money or it could be a relationship or friendship, uh, relationship to your kids, however, however that might look or finding a job. Uh, so whatever that looks like for you right here and now, just take a moment to pause this video and think about something that you would like to focus on. Okay, so now that you have an idea of what you might wanna focus on, what you're going to do is write down a, a, a very positive, affirmation or affirmative statement around that idea. So for me, mine is about 2020 vision without glasses. So my statement is I have 2020 vision without glasses. Now, right now, parts of my brain, my mind, my belief systems or whatever, may be struggling with that idea because I've been wearing glasses for a few years now and I've gotten kind of used to wearing them, but I'd really prefer not to have to wear them anymore. So I know that people can do this. I've seen people do it. I have a very close friend who's done it. So what we're going to focus on is making an I am statement or a very present, conscious, focused, affirmative statement that's very simple and short and sweet and to the point. So come up with that idea. Um, pause the video for a moment if you need to, and just come up with your I am statement or your affirmative statement about your issue. You could do the same thing about vision if you like. Okay, so if you've written down your affirmative statement, now we're going to create the focus wheel. If you already have a template and you've printed it out, uh, we're only going to go through eight of them. So maybe pick four corners or something that you might skip over or go ahead and, and take the time to fill those in as we go through the focus wheel. First thing I'm going to do is show you exactly how to draw it. So the first step that you're going to take is you're going to just draw a circle right in the middle of your piece of paper. Okay. And now as you've written that circle, drawn that circle, you're going to draw a circle around the circle on on that piece of paper. 
the next step you're going to do, just take the moments if you need to, to pause. The next step you're going to do is you're going to draw four lines, one up, one down, one to the side, the other one to the side. And then you're going to draw four more uh, lines right in the middle, splitting those right in half. Okay, so this is your completed focus wheel, how it's going to look before you start writing your words into it. So now you're going to write your affirmative statement right in the center wheel. It's going to be like this. I have 20-20 vision without glasses. Okay, that might be yours as well. So once you've written that down, once you've gotten your wheel completed and you've written that phrase down, we're going to take it to the next step. But first, we've got to really kind of focus or hone in on where our beliefs are in the moment. So if your beliefs already say, this is impossible, I don't, I don't really think that this is possible, then obviously this is where, where this is a great one to work on because we want to work on the things that we're struggling with. We want to work on the things that we're having a hard time getting past. So the way to do that is to find where we bump up against that belief system that says, uh, that's not possible. I don't think I can have this. I don't know if I can do this, but I really want to, I really do desire this. So we're going to take the first step, which is realizing where we're stuck. And then we've got to get our, our voice onto the wheel. So how are we going to get our voices on the wheel in a statement that we already believe around having 2020 vision? You can, again, you can use this for anything. Right now, we're just going to focus on vision. So one of the things that I might say is, uh, I already believe that my eyes are 2020 vision. Not true, right? So that doesn't get us on the wheel. What's another statement I could make? I could say, it'll be easy for me to get 2020 vision. It should happen overnight. Some part of me does believe that, but not 100%. So I'm not quite there yet. I'm almost there. So instead, I'm going to make it be a statement, something like, uh, I trust it is possible to not need glasses to see clearly. I trust that's possible. So I'm going to put that in the first section to the right of that first line, this section here. As you can see, I already started writing the rest of the, I wrote the second statement as well. So go ahead and write your first statement. Could be something that that's the same as mine. I trust it's possible to see without 20-20 vision or without glass. See, so have 20-20 vision without glasses. Um, could be something else. So my next statement that I wrote down is, I'm so very excited when my eyesight is clear without glasses. I am excited when I can go outside and take my glasses off and see very clearly. That started happening already. So my second phrase is, I am so very excited when my eyesight is clear without glasses. Okay. I feel like my light has shifted just a little bit and I apologize for that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to have you pause and write a few more statements. I'm going to go ahead and share a few more of mine. I am a healthy, vibrant daughter of a loving universe. Why does that matter? Why does that matter for 2020 vision? Because I want to see clearly, right? And so if I, if I believe that I am a vibrant, healthy daughter of a loving universe, then that means that I know the universe has my back. So another one is my eyesight is getting all it needs to feel free and clear. It's getting all it needs. It's getting all the nutrition it needs. It's getting all the sunshine it needs. It's getting all the love and attention and support it needs. My eyesight is getting all it needs to be free and clear. I love having perfect eyesight without glasses. That's true. I did have perfect eyesight once before, so I, I do love that. All I need is available to me now, and I always trust the universe. All I need is available to me now, and I always trust the universe. That's true statement for me. May not be a true statement for you, but these are the ones that I'm using because these are the ones that work for me. I have had 2020 vision before in my life, so I know it's possible now. 
my last one that I have on here, I have already noticed my eyesight becoming clear and strong. Just like I shared with you before, I really have noticed that that is happening. So finish your wheel by writing true statements about what you already know that support your belief or your, your idea of having 20-20 vision without glasses. And once you are complete with that, uh, come back on here and I will share the last little piece that we need to do. So the last piece that we do is that center circle, the one that is around, see the center circle has your phrase in it, right? The one just outside of that is where we're gonna go now. And what we're gonna do with that circle is we are going to say a statement that is actually true and real for you right now around this process around your eyesight and, ha and having 20-20 vision without glasses. So for me, right now, the statement that I'm feeling is I deserve to have 20-20 vision. I do deserve to have 20-20 vision. So I'm going to write that in the space around the one blank space that's left. So here is my completed focus wheel, okay? Starting with this statement, we're moving to this one, we're moving all the way around to here and then finishing it out with this one. So once I'm completed with my focus wheel, I should have a very different feeling or energy around 2020 vision than I did when I first started. And again, you can use focus wheel for anything for any number of things uh, take the time to give yourself permission to do a focus wheel every day the one thing that i heard when i was listening to abraham hicks uh, and i listened to the same video about three times because it was something i was really getting a lot of a uh, lot of yumminess out of and when i heard her say that she does a focus wheel every day i'd never even heard of a focus wheel before so I was like, wait, if she's doing a focus wheel every day, I need to know what a focus wheel is. I want to start doing one every day. So I've been doing that every day now. I've been enjoying having uh, the connection that's helping open me up to all the possibilities that support me in my life, having exactly what I deserve, believing in myself, stepping forward, uh, moving towards all the goals that I am setting for myself. So again, this is Tuesdays with Tara. I hope that you have gotten something out of this. Uh, I'm really grateful to be able to share it with you and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day.